Well, I'm Ishan, and I've been playing the piano for longer than I can remember. I think it's been 20 years now. And uh, I mean, there were gaps in the middle here and there. And I've been teaching for the last six or seven years. I actually started teaching when I was in my second year of college, and it was pure chance. I just sort of met someone in a music shop, and he asked me if I wanted to teach. And I was really nervous about it first, and then I discovered this amazing love for teaching music and I haven't stopped and I don't plan on. Well, actually, I started on a keyboard and I must have been five or six years old. And my mum wanted to put us all into music. I had two siblings, so the younger one started playing the violin at a young age and my older brother started playing guitar. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> I chose the keyboard as my instrument and then I think after four or five years, I got pretty good at it. So my parents bought me a piano and then it was, I was never stopping after that. Well, I guess uh, my most, something that's helped me as well as a lot of my students early on is some people have a little bit of an issue with confidence because, I mean, you walk into the gym and you see someone squatting, you know, like 150 kilos. You can't do that at the beginning. You have to train your muscles a little bit. You have to get used to the whole idea. And you have to start small and eventually you'll get, you'll be able to achieve any goal you actually want to achieve. But you have to follow a diligent sort of process of hard work and dedication. And you can have all the talent in the world, but without hard work, it's not gonna get you anywhere. And you could have no talent at all, but with hard work, it could actually get you somewhere. So that's my biggest piece of advice. If you put your mind to something, be disciplined about it. Well, my relationship with music that I listen to and enjoy was actually quite funny because until I was 15 or 16, I only ever heard like a couple of CDs that we had at home, which were like classical music, so your Mozart and Beethoven and stuff like that. And then I discovered this playlist of classic rock, 500 songs, and I listened to the same playlist for maybe five years. <laughs> no other song, just those 500 songs. And I got really into that sort of music. So I moved away from a lot of classical music that I used to play into a little more rock and pop kind of music. And I really enjoy playing that sort of stuff now. And I love movie songs as well. I mean, any Disney song, I have to sit down and learn it. I just love them. In a way, it's sort of an escape. It's a, it's a safe space where you can find flow and you feel productive, you feel positive, you feel happy. Even if what you're playing is absolute garbage, it's still something that you're playing, something that you're working on, and you're just sort of lost. It's you and your own music there. And music is something that's entirely subjective. No one can say that some music is good music or correct music. It's just whatever you want it to be. And making that connection and living through it, it, it sort of drives me. You've heard what Bruce Lee said, right? I don't fear the man who's practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. It's the same thing with music. If you're learning to play something, practice it until you can't get it wrong. Not till you just get it right once. Well, that's my story, and I'd love for you to start yours. Come join us at SIF where I'd love to be your guide on your Kibo's journey.